uh, thank you very much. It's, 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 it's really an honor for me to be here. Um, so as I said, my name is Michal Muldorf. I actually come from the Czech Republic. Um, so my, my Deutsch is not so good. Yeah? So that's why I, I kind of decided to, to give my speech in, in English. So I hope that this is not a problem. I know we are also a little bit late. So if I see many people waving, I'll just stop and we go for, for a break because um, yeah, I don't want to make it too, too, too long. But still, I would like to share some experiences we made um, with uh, uh, working with Kata, practicing Kata in, in, in our environment. B before I start, a uh, little bit of background. I come, I come from the, an automotive, continental automotive uh, production plant uh, in the Czech Republic, so I'm, I'm straight from the, from the production. I, I work as, a, as a, basically a production director, I would call it. Uh, I, I would give you a little bit more background later. And um, we started with Kata uh, in, in, in our plant three years ago. But actually, my history with Kata is a little bit longer. So the top two topics I would like to I would like to talk about uh, today is, is uh, first one is an uh, ex Toyota or Toyota experience, how that can help or, or not help uh, in, in deploying Kata in your in your organization. And the second topic that I would like to tackle is to give you a little bit more experience from our side, what what we tried, what we learned in our organization. And, and what we are going or we are planning to do, to do next. So I hope some of these would be good learnings for you. Of course, also, you can see that I actually have not pre prepared any PowerPoint presentation, uh, because I, I used to say that I don't like it, but I also suck in creating the presentation. So, so I actually take, take the way of not having it. But of course, if you have any, any further questions later on, you can always call me, mail me, and so on. So um, the, 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 the topics that I, that I mentioned, I will start first with the, with the Toyota experience. Uh, so I'll go a little bit back in, in, into the history of, of, of my career. So I actually started, uh, oh yeah, I, I made notes here, yeah, sorry, I, I, so I cannot remember everything, so I made these notes. So sometimes I'll be reading a little bit. Um, so I started my career in 2007, um, and actually I started with Toyota. I entered the, the graduate program of Toyota, uh, which, was, uh, which was at the time in the, in the European headquarters in Brussels. And uh, for me, that was actually a great experience. The, the main reason I, I wanted to go to Toyota, I actually set myself two goals. Uh, being a student, I read a lot about organizations. Toyota was, was really, really nice to me, and, and I, I didn't really believe what was all written in the books. So I was like, okay, I'm going to check out the culture and so on. It's really, how, how is it described? And then, of course, all the, all the lean tools, right? Uh, you, you, I, I want to learn that, and straight at the source. So I entered the, the, the program. The program at Toyota is everything uh, on the job. So I was working in the, in the production control department uh, as, as a project management specialist, but still getting a lot of trainings. Uh, also two, two months on the, on the production show floor of Toyota building cars. Uh, a lot of experiences like that. But um, two years later, I realized that I was actually not learning anything. All well, my feeling was like that. So I was like, okay, I'm go I go to work every day, do my job. I'm challenged every day, or I need to always think uh, how to make things better. People are working in a good structured way, but still it's, it's nothing special, it's normal way, right? Uh, I didn't know anything else from the industry, it was my first job. So uh, in my life when I don't, don't know anything and I don't, I, I don't, I'm, not, I'm feeling that I'm actually not learning much, so I go to a bookstore and buy books and read. So I actually went to a bookstore and, and, and start buying books on Kata, uh, sorry, on Toyota. Yeah? And so 2009, it was actually the time when the, when the Kata book was released. And by, by chance, uh, that was the first book on the, on the shelf. So I went there, grabbed the first book, ran home. I said, now I will learn Toyota. Yeah? And I started reading it. And um, when I went to the middle, I actually uh, had to stop. That was my first touch with Toyota, uh, with Kata. And the reason I had to stop was that I did not understand why somebody would actually describe my normal day yeah, basic description of my standard working days with my with my with my managers and in my department, and I was like, man, why somebody's describing that? It's it's just so normal. Yeah, it's like describing uh, the the sky is blue or the grass is green, and I I, di I didn't get it. And I must say, at that point, I kind of dropped the book and I I forgot about it. And uh, when I left Toyota later on, moving back to the Czech Republic. Um, that actually, that, that was the time I hit the wall because I, I started for working for another companies later for Continental, and I realized, man, okay, I was learning actually something, yeah, but I did not realize it until, unless I, I saw the different, different culture, different way of of of, of working. And why I'm saying all that is uh, that I'm linking that, that experience now uh, to what we are trying to do in in, in our current plan um, with Kada, and. Um, 
the big advantage that I see uh, having that ex Toyota experience, and, and I think you would also, anybody ex Toyota here? So you would need to trust me then, yeah? Uh, <laughs> Also, I'm no, I'm no, no Tai Chi Ono, yeah? of, of course, my, 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 uh, my Toyota experience is limited, so please don't take it granted, this is really my experience. And um, the, the biggest takeaway I, I get from the Toyota experience is that when we, when we are trying to deploy Kata in our, in our organization, is that I can clearly see the, the ideal target state. I'm not saying Toyota ever achieved that, of course, there are a lot of challenges, but I was able to live in an environment but where basically the, these, these, these routines, the, these patterns of behavior were basically living. And as Mike said, it's, it's always a little bit different. It's, it's not uniform, but the, the general structure of thinking in that organization is, is really, you can feel it, and it's, it's very strong. And that's something that, that gives me a big advantage when, when trying to, to deploy Kata in, in our organization. On the other hand, it brings also a lot of frustration because people usually don't understand. Um, the, the, the problem is, I think, that uh, if, you, if you do not have the experience, it's very difficult to, to have that experience by, by sharing words from somebody else. Yeah, unless you, you live it, it's very difficult. So I, I think it's the same like with many, many inventions, right? People didn't like telephone first, and they, they didn't want the copy machine because they couldn't imagine what to do with that thing. And so th this, is, this is a big, big uh, advantage, but also a challenge for me when we, when we uh, try, to, try to incorporate more, more people into, into the, the, the kata, kata world. Uh, but also, uh, I see, I see uh, some fundamental things when we, when we train our, our, our managers, uh, that uh, they still think, as, and I believe it's a, it's a misconception, that uh, uh, they believe that they can be very, very fast. I, I, li I like that. that, uh, that, that uh, that picture which was shown here before, the, the, the mountain of, of stupid, or how was it called? Yeah. So, so many people think they can really be fast, uh, or many people think, okay, now I do. Uh, normally, how long it takes in, in an industry to, to, to finish a program? Yeah. Half year or one year, ma maximum one year. Yeah. That's the target. So many people think, okay, I'll do it now, one year, and we're done. Tick mark, and we go next. Yeah. Um, additional topic is that many, many people would think, you cannot do that because people are just not, not able to do. Yeah? And, and these are mis misconceptions that, that I'm every day kind of tackling in my, in my, in my da daily, daily work, because I'm always trying to, to say that we are, we are not actually going to achieve something one day, because it's, it's never ending. Yeah? And my belief is that everybody can actually work in that kind of environment. It's just a matter of, of training and having that environment around him. Uh, one, one point which, which we came up this year actually uh, is, is quite important is that in parallel we do trainings with, with, with the managers in our organization and I see that we are actually take, taking on board new people who are not involved and they immediately start to grab, let's say, the standard way of, of thinking and once we try to, try to teach them uh, or, or to show them this cut away, they are already kind of transformed into something else and it, it, it actually gives, gives us a hard time to, to try to grab them back. So uh, one learning with it uh, is that uh, it's, it's always good once, once we start with this Scala deployment is, is try to incorporate the, the new hires as soon as possible because that, that will ease your work a little bit later. So that, that was, that was um, a bit on my, on my experience um, from Toyota and how, how, how it reflects my, my uh, today's, uh, today's word, world. The, the second area which is linked um, uh, is um, on, the, on our, our learnings from the, from the Kata deployment in the organization. So to give you a little bit more, more background where I'm coming from, and the, our plant is, is actually an automotive plant, so a standard tier one supplier. We do electronic, electronic production, sensors, uh, some specific, specific unique uh, products also. And um, that plant is 3,000 people big. So it's, it's not huge, but it, it's quite big. And uh, the plant is actually structured into uh, four kind of semi-independent uh, factories, I would say. And so you can imagine myself as, as had one of these small factor factories. Yeah? And so in my organization, there are basically 200 people and uh, the entire plant, 3,000. And um, so uh, me, I'm responsible for, for deploying Kada in, in the organization, not, not only because I was kind of chosen, because, but I really like it, I, I trust it. And um, so I'm using that, that small organization as kind of a playground. So we test a lot of things, and then we try to kind of deploy in the, in the, in the, in the main, main plant. 
And uh, so here I wanted to share some, some learnings because I know I already talked to some people here and now do, you are doing, and, uh, or you are doing the same thing or you are in, in similar phase. And um, the, 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 fir the first obstacle that we were actually uh, facing when we said, okay, let's, let's deploy uh, Kata culture into, into our organization, the first obstacle was uh, what kind of strategy for deployment to take. So you can basically take two. You, you either kind of select people who like, you train them, and you try to make like small spots of, of, of positive deviation, I would say, and, 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 and try, try to enhance that from the bottom, or to take the, the top-down approach. And um, uh, we decided to take the, the top-down approach, uh, because I, I truly believe that um, with that, with that bottom-up, it can somehow work, but unless you, you convince the, the managers, basically all level managers, uh, you, you will never achieve com complete success in the, in the entire organization. Um, so we decided to go for that, for that uh, top-down. Um, what we actually failed and what we learned is that the deployment cannot be very fast. So uh, I was talking here about, about a deployment within, let's say, one year, but it's clear that, that uh, the plant of, of 3,000 people, it will take us multiple years. I can, I can see like three to five years uh, that the deployment will, will take. And I'm, I'm, I'm saying we're deployment, Mike, I'm not sure if this is a correct word because I like practicing, yeah? It's not kata implementation, I completely agree. It's more like making more and more people aware and trying, trying that, that practice in, the, in, the, in their daily, daily, daily uh, work. Um, so my initial plan, because for me the, the image is quite, is quite uh, straightforward, I was like, okay, we set the target and we will train every three months, uh, like a new group, and then at, at the end of this year we will actually achieve all the management levels to be, to be trained, and we are basically half through. So the learnings uh, uh, we made is, I think it's better to be a little bit slower, uh, but still to, to incorporate all the, all the, all the management uh, levels. Um, the second obstacle that, that uh, sometimes you are facing, and I see in Continental, there are companies which are facing uh, that obstacle, is that uh, not all plan managers are actually involved or, or convinced that, that this is a good way. And so our experience is that actually our plan manager is, is completely convinced about, about that way of working. It's, it's quite natural to him. And uh, I can only say that uh, without his support, uh, it would be very, very difficult. So if I can recommend, uh, and you, tr you try to work with Kata in your organizations, uh, it's always a good thing to start with the, with the hat. I know it, it, it's, it's kind of a golden rule, it applies to everything, but, but I can say that if it's not a case, in, in this case it's a cultural thing, then, then uh, you could get some, some hard work uh, to do. Because the s second way how to do, and some, how, how some people are doing, is that um, you, get, you kind of, kind of uh, create uh, like an island where, where the, the kata is lived, yeah? and there you can you can try it. You can you can by the, eventually you will you will come to a results, uh, which you can then show and, and present. So that, that's the other way how to basically convince uh, some other management structures, uh, because eventually I'm sure with using that way your organization would be would be successful. Um, the other obstacle that we that we are that we were tackling in this in this in this uh, deployment activity. Um, was that uh, not only plan manager, but also how to involve the, the other managers. So normally, uh, our, our plant is structured into, into three management levels, and uh, each level uh, thinks a little bit different. And here, when I talk about a top-down top uh, top uh, approach, uh, the, the first step you, you need to do is to, is to convince or, or, or train uh, get on board the, the, the top, top, top managers. And here, here, the biggest problem we had was that uh, many of them think to think of themselves as second coaches straight. Of course, yeah, they've been doing it 30 years. So uh, it's okay, I understand, of course, improvement is clear, yeah, it's clear, it's clear. I'm, I'm the second coach and I do it now. And so we really, we really uh, try to push them uh, to, to try the, all the roles, because for me it's really important to try to be an improver. It's, it's incredibly, I even tried, even though I have some Toyota experience, I still tried. And it's, it's, it's difficult, uh, it's not easy. Um, so we kind of push them to, to do that. And of course, the result is that somebody, some people like it and some, some don't. So actually, the, the obstacle for the next year we, we, we will need to tackle is that we do not have all the, all the first-line managers on board. Um, and so now when I'm thinking, this, this all what I was explaining basically happened within the last one, one and a half years. And um, what we are now thinking for the, for the next year, um, the, the topic that we maybe not selected correctly is that we, would we um, decided to go top-down 
um, we were always thinking in the, in the trainings that uh, we train people basically, even the management level, they will, they will pick a topic and they will train themselves on it with a, with a colleague, coach, improver relationship. Uh, but what I realized is that uh, in, in my area, for some reason, uh, I, I picked a, a topic which is, which, is called to, which, which is linked to uh, rejected parts, like a scrap cost on, on your shop floor. And that's something that is linked clearly to, to one of our strategical uh, areas. And you can do every day, you can do on the shop floor, and it's, it's by chance a very good topic to do. But some others, they just picked some you know, topics which are not really linked to, to any, any strategical top or target. Uh, and so they, they got a little bit lost because their feeling was, okay, I need to be working on, on my normal business and now I have 15 minutes you know, a day that I need to do something on top. But come on, I'm already 12 hours in, in, in my office. So you can imagine what happens, right? Uh, so some of them stopped after one week, some of them stopped in, in two weeks and so on. So uh, what we are coming up now for the, for the next year and, and my rec recommendation would be uh, once, once uh, you do that, that deployment strategy in your, in your organization, um, it's always good to link it straight from the beginning with some of the, some of the strategical areas that, that, the, that the company or the division or the, or the department should be working on because it, it makes it much easier for people to digest and, and really to apply that, 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 that routine 15, 20 minutes a day uh, because they would be doing that anyway. So, last learning, uh, because I think I'm getting to the end of the time, but last very important learning we did. In many organizations, um, the lean tools are in hand of, uh, of a lean office. Yeah? Uh, in, in Continental is the Continental Business System office. Uh, you can have any other type of lean or, or company business uh, or production system office. And many times, Again, management, and I'm always, all the time here talking about management because I think this is, this is the key in the organization uh, for the Qatar deployment. Um, they tend to think, okay, I'm the manager, I'm the operations manager, and it's the lean guys who are doing the lean stuff. Uh, and the Qatar is another lean tool. So it's, it's them to do. And, and that's, that's, a, that's a misconception that I think it's important to address in the, in the beginning. Because unless... Uh, people understand that this is, some, that, that this is a, a routine or, or let's say a, a way of living they should be doing. That it's not somebody else who will do it for themselves in their organization. Uh, then it is very difficult to actually uh, deploy that thinking in, in, in your area of responsibility. So, to conclude, uh, I'm, I'm very happy actually, uh, I'm currently with Continental because uh, we, uh, I can see that many, com many, many our companies are, are striving for, for Qatar deployment. We have also very good internal sharing networks, so I can recommend that also in your organizations that uh, uh, if you feel alone, connect with, with the other, other departments, uh, other, other organizations, plants, because that, that, that uh, help, uh, help a lot. And I can see that you in Germany here, you are very far, also with the Qatar, Qatar school and so on. So that's also a big challenge for the Czech Republic. Yeah? Um, so, so I'll think how to, how to make our, our community a little bit stronger. Uh, and I wish, you, I wish you good challenges, uh, uh, good experiments. Uh, and I think it brings a lot of joy to, to your work. So uh, I'm sure you'll be successful and uh, I'll be happy to share maybe next year our additional learnings, what we did uh, with the Qatar deployment in our organization. So thank you very much for your attention.